My name is Kennedy Okaka. I'm the CEO of PH Africa Limited. PH is a leader in workplace hygiene solutions. In any workplace environment, you know, that's where you spend most of your time, okay? In a day of 24 hours, you find like around uh, 10 to 8 to 10 hours you're in the office, okay? PH stands for Peach Hedge. In our, our product uh, range, we have products that have been imported and others have been manufactured locally, okay? Like this foam soap is manufactured locally, okay? But the hand sanitizer, this one is called Anios Gel. It's an import from France, okay? This is called Rubbermaid from, from UK, the seed sanitizer. It also works as a hand sanitizer too. It's imported from, from, from Rubbermaid UK. Our target market actually is uh, basically the workplaces, okay, but not limited just to workplaces, okay. We also ta uh, target homes, okay. People at home really want to, like newborn, uh, uh, okay, like mothers of just gotten, gotten children, they'd want to have their hand sanitizers with them, okay. Uh, sometimes you run out of water, the tap is not running, like you need a hand sanitizer just to make sure that everything is right before people tug, shake hands or something like that. And uh, the toilet seat cover, like this is this is from uh, Kimberly Clark, UK. Okay, you place it on the wall, then when you press the lever, it dispenses uh, a toilet seat cover that you place on the seat. Then you know you don't get that contamination with, with the surface. The first pathway to contamination actually is, is through the hands. Okay. Yeah, because you now when you walk uh, to, to the office and it's the first thing you do is to greet each other, to greet each other, you know, something like that. That's not the first contact of, of, of contamination, okay? Mm -hmm. So when if you can really tackle the hand hygiene first, okay, then uh, I think uh, the government measure is, is likely to work out. Huh? Yeah, but then now, uh, since now hand washing cannot, it's not a mobile, mobile, mobile thing, you cannot move the sink with you everywhere. The, the hand sanitizer, this is pocket, okay, you can travel with it, you can easily move, move around with it, okay. Then now the hand sanitizer that is it's mobile on the table, this one. No. Infections and, and, and the flu will, uh, will, will come and go, but then now it's you know, the, the habit of just being conscious about our hygiene is something that uh, is meant to will continue. We still have cholera that is you know, still very perennial, you don't know when it will come and go, something like that. So this is something that I think I'd like to urge Kenyans to really take into consideration. Now, for people who are starting out, follow your passion. Follow your passion and drive. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't start a business for the sake of money. If there is a business that is booming somewhere, don't go for it because it's booming. Don't. Because then if it stops booming, what will you do? You still have the energy, the courage, and <laughs> the strength to really keep on doing that kind of business. Or you will be a jack of all trades, doing everything that comes away. I think you will be a sure way to failure. Okay? Okay. We That's are located on 14 Riverside Drive, Cavendish Block. But I think the world is going digital. So if you go to www.sanitizer.store, actually you'll be told how to pay in a very good way and the good thing is that we deliver we do it we have to give you a lot of comfort and you know convenience actually we're selling convenience it's a big store it's a big online store where if you just plug in then you're able to you're able to buy and we make same day delivery <laughs>